let's try this again. I think that I accidentally, I was trying to go live on YouTube and Facebook and I think I just went live on Facebook. I have a much smaller following there. So I was like, what is happening? I can't figure my life out. So that makes way more sense for me. Let me just verify I am live. Okay. Ta-da. Cool. All right. So I am doing a reaction video. Uh, I'm, oh, if you, origins of me, if you could tell me if you can hear this audio when I share it, that would be super helpful. Otherwise this isn't going to work and I'm just going to have to like go away. Someone, <laughs> so someone please help me. Um, cause I'm trying to figure all this out. I'm new to, Hey Michelle, if you want to hop on, I sent the link. Can you hear this? Right, so y'all are really my people. This is why you follow me. This is the Lehigh here, okay? Okay, 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 okay. okay. can you hear that? Please someone tell me they can hear that. If not, this just is not going to work out the way I want it to. Yes, you can hear it? Perfect. Okay, so I have not gotten around to doing a reaction to Jesse Lee's. I know, sorry, Duma. I've not done a reaction to Jesse Lee's um tea time where she does marriage counseling. So I thought we could do it together. So Michelle, Andrea, if you want to hop on, uh, you're pretty, yeah, absolutely. Totally got it. My, my husband's putting my daughter to bed. He's lying on the floor with his foot in a boot, uh, crawling around, whatever. I can't put her to bed. She won't go to bed for me. All right. So this is her doing her normal live, um, nonsense. I'm going to close the door because she gets disgustingly graphic. Here we go. Okay. Like, <laughs> Just, you know, like, ah, ha, 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 ha. Uh, moving on. The cackle. Yeah, okay, the hung, okay, enough of you heard. And there's a lot of reactions. Okay, okay. All right, so y'all are really my people. This is why you follow me. This is the Lehigh here, okay? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Like, what? Is... <laughs> okay, 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 okay. What is happening? Did I already react to this? <laughs> Maybe I already did. I don't know. I feel like. If I did, um, or maybe I just watched it to get more character stuff, but uh, yeah, let's keep going. Listen, oh, Shannon followed with that one. That's what I'm talking about. I do, I get some followers from that. Boom, follows and says, I understand. I like this energy. Okay. That man is like a fucking king at that. So I'm- Okay. I don't know what at that specifically means, but I have one or two ideas of what she's talking about, so- I think by the end of it, we we definitely figure it out. But let's like, see. <coughs> Literally, actually. Oh right, yeah. She's talking about being choked. Okay, just so that we're like totally clear. Like that. Um, I said what I said. I said what I said. Some of these boys are really out there, like breaking your collarbone, and you're like, "What is that doing?" And some of them are out there, and you're like, "What are you doing? Like, are you massaging my esophagus? Like, I don't really know what's happening here right now." Okay, so she. Guys, she's giving advice on, or just like talking about being choked in bed on a live stream. Some of them are actually trying to murder you. For, for those of you just tuning in, we are not going to watch a whole bunch of Jesse Lee tonight. I just, I'm starting with this to like set the tone. Let's get, let's get spicy. I mean, I'm not Chelsea, but let's get spicy. Oh, uh, it's kind of cool sometimes. Um, <laughs> like, uh, uh, some of them are just very confused at what they're doing and they need to like, I don't know, get more life experience. This one. <laughs> if I come back for nothing else, I'm coming back for that. All right, so uh, ET is what it is. There is a literal technique to protect your voice and get it done. This is why I love you. This is <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. So, what does this have to do with ketones? Nothing. This has absolutely nothing to do with ketones. This is where she thinks that this is like helping her sell more trial packs. I guess I don't know. Or maybe people are like, I want to be a part of that team. I. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross. This is why I love you. <laughs> right, like, are you trying to tickle me? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I was talking to Fraser. Someone just let me apart for this. I knew I was doing well. <sighs> Thank you. Fraser goes, it, he's not Russian if he doesn't smack you, choke you, and spit in your mouth. And I said, oh my. Michelle, I'm going to need that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Can we rewind it just a second here? I was doing well. Oh, thank you. Fraser goes, it, he's not Russian if he doesn't smack you, choke you, and spit in your mouth. And I said, oh my. He's not Russian if he doesn't smack you, 
choke you and spit in your mouth. That is like, <laughs> that's what I want in my cult leader. I want a cult leader who's going to smack me, choke me. What is happening? I, I know this is like two, three weeks old, but listen, I've had a really rough month. So I'm just trying to like, whatever. <laughs> he is Russian. <laughs> Uh, somebody, what Ew, can we just everybody look at this comment can you see it i don't know it says i threw up on an eggplant the other night lmao ma'am why are you telling people that you threw up on an eggplant and i am using eggplant <laughs> boopy bun bun you're so grossed out right now should we move on should we find something else to uh to <laughs> let me find something a little less jarring <laughs> because she honestly she is so so while i'm looking up <laughs> i am offended too i'd ever be able to keep up with these people i don't know yes no andrea i have watched it um i just always have new thoughts about it um they're always not good thoughts they're always good thoughts uh oh i have a folder called monet fails with a random eef in here so that's not really good i really need to organize everything so much better better um la, da, 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 da. oh is this a sarah hill video i don't know what this to... is okay i i don't know what this is so let me here we go all right i don't know what you know don't worry angela i'm gonna we're gonna be done with jesse lee tonight let's take a look at this sarah ward uh or sarah sarah ward this uh sarah hill video that i found in my drive i genuinely do not know what i'm gonna hear the Monet protein powder. It really, truly, it, it, I, protein powders are not really my thing, but it really is not a bother at all to make a shake. I like to mix it with cold brew, um, maybe a scoop of peanut butter, but usually Why? I just mix it with a, with cold brew and ice and just drink it. Uh, and it's really good. So if you have questions or want more information on that protein powder, uh, just let me know. Um, that's why I put this in here. Oh, can we, can we please talk about Monet doing protein powder? I feel like nobody has had a visceral reaction to this. Like I have, why is it that we are suddenly like, yeah, it's totally okay. For, <laughs> it's really okay for Monet to be wearing, to be selling protein powder. I just, I don't understand what, and, and, and does nobody have a thought on this or is it just literally just me that is like so repulsed by this entire thought? Hey, Jaina, like I'm, yes, Sarah Hill, <laughs> Lindsay says, oh yay, Sarah Hill blocked me. Uh, there we go. Sarah Hill blocked me before I had even heard of her. <laughs> um, you and me both sister, she blocked me a long time. Um, why does she laugh herself? I don't know. Here's where I think this gets even more problematic and it has nothing to do with protein shakes, but we've all seen Sarah Hill, right? Like she's a normal, she's not me. Like I am guys, I'm six feet tall. You can't, if I stand up, you're not even going to see. <sighs> okay. I'm like, I can't get my full body in the screen. Okay. I am very, I got some junk in my belly. I am aware that it is junk in the trunk. Thank you very much. Um, I got a bowl full of jelly and it is not my favorite part of me, but it is okay because I'm so gorgeous. But all I'm getting, I'm just stating that, that I'm a large woman and normally the size of clothing I wear is XL. Okay. Okay. XL. XL kind of creeping into that 2XL because life has been stressful and mama's been eating some tiramisu. Okay. <sighs> Hold on. Wait, sorry. We didn't hear what she actually said there. Okay. I guess the point that I wanted to point out, she's wearing a sweatshirt that is an XL. Look at her. I'm five foot five and the XL hits right above my mid thigh. Your XL. Thank you, Jaina. Your XL is a small to me. I am certain that if I put that on, like this is why clothing sizes for women drive me fucking insane. This is nonsense. Let's see what else is on here. There's only a couple seconds left. Oh, God. 20, 20 more grams down the hatch at Monet official. Thank you for making such a good protein powder. Guys, what if the protein powder is actually just like baby powder? Like, <laughs> like what if they, I really feel like a lot of these MLM executives just sit in a meeting and they're like, all right, 
what is the most ridiculous thing that we can convince our reps to sell? And they came up with protein powder. Because when I think of shampoo and anti-aging skin cream, I also think of protein powder. I'm like, this is ridiculous. All right. I don't think she put anything else there. Not worth my time because I just remembered that I have an addition. Do you see what <laughs> you see all this Eve stuff I have in here? Let me just go ahead and hide that for a second. Um, I, the protein powder has the same ingredients in the shampoo, I bet. That's what I'm saying. It's probably made from that Lylol that Detective Lovey talks about all the time. All right. So I screen recorded <laughs> some more of my brookie brookie. <laughs> brookie brookie. Brookie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. All right, so if you have not watched uh, my video that I put out today, I'm gonna take my hair out because I don't think that it looks. Guys, I am gonna cut my hair, I think next week. If I can get a babysitter to come sit with my husband because <laughs> he can't really move well to easily take care of the kids, I'm gonna go get my hair cut. Um, what is that back there? Oh. I love it when my son opens up a Pez in my office and then leaves his trash everywhere. Cool. Um, Jane is still in the middle of your video. Okay, well, here's, here's the story that she posted right after she shared her live and her story. It almost, I almost want to say it gets better. Just to like recap. Oh, sorry, Cassandra, you'll have to go back. Just to recap though, my video, she accuses... Not me directly. Maybe she's accusing Julie Joe. However, she acknowledges that a woman, that someone put on a wig and hacked into her Zoom. Ma'am, your downline gave me the link. Um, MLM Idea Pez. That's funny. People would buy that stuff. Yes, they would. Okay. So uh, she's definitely talking about me hacking her live. But she basically then refers to this person as just like one person. Like there's like, it, not as if there's multiple players in this entire movement. Okay. So I know I'm not Barb right now. I'm, I'm maybe, maybe Barb will come out another night. So, so, um, they, she, she believes that this person, um, or maybe she thinks it's Julie Joe. I don't know. Invested money to buy followers for her. <laughs> So let's react to the, the the story that immediately followed it. I am watching this now live too. Thing is just shared a quick snippet about what's been going on um, and wasn't sure I was going to. 29 minutes is not a quick snippet. Can we just acknowledge that 29, <laughs> thank you, Boopy Bun Bun. 29 minutes is not a quick snippet. Okay. Okay. And just now moving on again um, and ignoring and just doing my mission. Doing. Can we just acknowledge that you are not ignoring you are not ignoring at all. Like you're, you are actually acknowledging everything that's happening to you. Ma'am, nothing. Why am I breaking out in a rash? What is that? Nothing is happening to you, Brooke. I am not. No one is attacking you. No one. Right. I missed the plot for B-Bangs. <laughs> right? Like. What if I was right here? That was like everybody go invest money to buy Brooke Banks followers. Why would what what do we even get out of that? Oh man. Okay, let's watch. Mission, mission, mission. Um, Yay! Thank you, Melissa. Said, God works all things together for the good for those who are called according to His purpose. All things. Oops, I don't have this on there. There we go. All, all things come together for the good for those who are called according to His purpose. So somehow the words can be said. Okay. No. Why? 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 <laughs> I really know how to pause these. <laughs> Somebody please get a screenshot of that. <laughs> Poor Brooke. Poor Brooke. Like I listen, Brooke, if you're having to catch this right now, you are gorgeous. This shot does not make you look gorgeous. <laughs> like we all have those moments. You are a very pretty woman. I actually find you more gorgeous, more appealing without all the makeup. Um, I think that some people absolutely are more pretty, more pretty. I don't know. <clears throat> um, I think that some people are more beautiful without makeup. So I really do. No, I'm not going to screenshot that. Um, so she's basically taught, like she's bringing the faith manipulation back into this. 
All right, let me just back up. God works all things for together mm -hmm. ugh, for the good. For those who are called according to his purpose, all things, all meaning, all. All things come together for the day. You know what, though? But like when they wrote that in the Bible, multi-level marketing didn't exist. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, my God. Jada, do you think that she watched it? Do, no, because you're right. I did. Barb did mention the bangs. I, <laughs> what if she actually watched it? She, I want you to guys, if you're not watching this, she changed their bangs. What if, what if she actually, see, I just, but I really don't believe that she does watch it. I don't, I don't think that she watched it at all. She has amazing cheech bones. She doesn't need the heavy cheek contour. Right, exactly. She already has an excellently structured face. And I think that that's what these things do, like these MLMs is that they make you do more. Here's the one thing that I appreciated. Like I talk about all the time that like, I didn't have a bad experience with Perfectly Posh. And the one thing that I really appreciated with, with it was that I was like forced to wash my face a lot. And so my skin did get better because not because the products were superior, but because I was just like taking better care of my face because I was doing masks all the time. Um, but I started using less makeup because my skin was, was doing better because I was just using stuff. I was just like actually washing my face. I, I don't know if anyone else is like this. Please tell me in the comments if you're like this. I am notorious for not washing my face before bed. Like I just, my bedtime routine and this has to be my ADHD. I don't have, I don't know what a bedtime routine would realistically look like for me. I literally just go, we're like, as soon as I'm done here, my husband comes down. I'm gonna be like, you want to go sit on the couch and watch TV? And he'll be like, yes, I'm gonna watch TV. And I'll be like, all right, time to go to bed. And I'll run upstairs, brush my teeth real quick. I do at least do that. Don't worry. And I will just crawl into bed sometimes in exactly what I'm wearing. I don't know if that's an ADHD thing, but somebody please tell me that it's like, not just me. Otherwise, um, I'm going to need to reassess my my entire life. I'm working on washing my face in the evening, right? Thank you, Christy. I wash my face every morning because like, I need that. But like in the evenings, I'm just like, I'm a, I, it's because washing my face refreshes me, right? Wakes me up. So I don't like want to wake up. All right. Sorry. Let's. <laughs> For those who are called according to this purpose. So somehow the word's being said. Okay. Number two, um, I can't. In the past years, I've had people come to me and say, Brooke, I would love to be a part of your makeup and skincare company as well. Oh, Online, I overheard jewelry, this. I do clothing, I do et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Limelight has now opened the doors where you can be with another company and be with ours. So you guys. So like. That's one of the big announcements that Lime Life has is that they remove their exclusivity clause to the contract. I guess before you used to only be able to, you only used to only be allowed to uh, sell just Lime Life, right? Um, and now if I want to sell Lime Life and doTERRA or Lime Life and uh, Lularo or whatever else, I can. Great, super duper. I, I mean, I bet you somebody has a thought as to why this, like, why this is happening. Somebody has to have a thought on this. I wish that, like, somebody else was popping on tonight, which is totally okay, because I randomly decided to do this out of nowhere. Um, but I, I bet. Wait, so I can work B-Banks and Bustly at the same time? Yes. Well, I don't know, though, because now they have protein shakes. Is protein shakes and ketones, do those not count? I wonder if those are, like, the same in the same category. Interesting. All right, let's. Somebody want to... Okay. So I hate, I'm sorry. I can't stand any sound where there's like the anticipation, like the, you, you didn't finish the phrase. So here's what she writes. If you can't see this, I'm going to like, is there a way I can zoom on this? Whatever. Okay. She wrote Brooke here, Brooke here. I love Jesus cool. Fashion is my thang. Listen, I hate, I loathe. I use, I don't like to use the word hate. Hold on. Where are my flashcards? Hate to feel intense or passionate dislike for. I have an intense and passionate dislike for when people say thang. I can't take it. Sorry if I'm not like 
getting all your comments. I have a hard time with that part. Um, but yes, I, I see your comments. I just can't process them and talk at the same time. So I will get to them in a minute. So yeah, I have an intense hate for the word fang. Um, I'm a dork at heart. Ma'am, I am. I don't know. Homeschool mama, trim, healthy mama. So maybe she is going, what if she's going to prove it? Guys, what if Bosley and Brooke Banks are joining forces? I'm, can we just like marinate in that? Can we marinate in what kind of hellstorm that would be? I <laughs> just, I just want you guys to think about it. Okay. While you marry that, I love to help women with makeup, skincare. I work in social selling. Love it. Love it. It's a perfect fit for my mission. Firm believer that motherhood is a mighty calling, blessing, keeping me away from crumble cookie before I eat them all. Hold up. Okay. Keep me with, listen, guys, Boss Banks, Melanie, Melanie. Oh my God. Yes. Boss Banks. Like, is that what's happening? Okay. Let me talk about crumble cookie for a second. I was in the shopping plaza. That's like two minutes from my house. And there is a sign for a crumble cookie coming. I've never heard of crumble cookie, but I'm trying to like slim down a bit. <laughs> Can the world just like stop, stop being out to get me? I feel like the world is out to get me. Two liars, two liars working together. What a team they'd make. Honestly, I sometimes feel that the she lies more than Bosley. I, I know that's a huge statement, but like when I really think about all the videos that I have recently watched with her, like Bosley doesn't make a lot of, she doesn't, here's the thing. She doesn't talk a lot about the actual business. <laughs> we, oh no, Mindy Lou, don't ruin my, eye. <laughs> maybe you're telling me that so that I won't go eat it. So I won't gain weight. Bosley does a lot of trainings that are like about, the relationship and recruiting and stuff like that. She hardly ever talks about actual ketones, right? Because that's not where she's making her money. I don't, she see Charlene. I don't, I don't know. So Charlene says, boss, these lies are just more ridiculous. I, but like, that's the thing. <clears throat> if they are though, they're not lies that we can directly go, at least in what I've been reacting from. Um, that we can go to and be like, this is, here's your income to statement. Like, that's not what she's been putting out there right now because she's in a 90 day run. So she's live all the time. So she's talking about like a whole bunch of stuff. The stuff she says is problematic, right? Bossley talks about herself mostly. Well, not that I didn't want to promote, <laughs> put your comment up. Where did it go? You guys are commenting too fast for my ADHD being Bossley talks about herself mostly, right? So, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, but Duma is with me. She's making a move and I cannot wait to find out what that move is. Oh, there's a dog. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Back to being a weirdo. I am thankful for you. <laughs> so cute. So cute. I paused it because I was reading it. That's why. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now it's later in the day. I just want to point out that this is 20 hours ago. I think I recorded this like an hour ago. So we're looking at almost a full day ago that she, that she put this up. Right. Um, and if you go to her profile right now, it says 10 K followers. Okay. Let me just, it's a good day. That's 9, slow. 992 superheroes, AKA Instagram calls and followers are on this page. And mind you, random like men, some will be like really kind, but some are like pictures of gross things on their profile. I'm like, no, like, mm -mm. um, I have to like go through and delete and I've deleted a ton, <laughs> even though they're authentic. I don't know what this is. This keeps doing this to me all the time and it's driving me nuts. Okay. So, so let's just talk about this. So let's like recap the video from today. Here's what, here's what she said. She made a claim that there was a huge spike in followers. Okay. And this was like the night before, I guess. It's hard to really tell the timeline because I'd have to, I'd have to do some digging. So if somebody wants to like look for me and tell me like the timeline of when she went live and then posted all these stories, she is claiming 
that between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. yesterday morning, I guess, she had a huge, like a 2,000 bump in, like a 2,000 follower bump in her followers. And so she claims that she went through and deleted all of those, all of those, including men, including men, because like men can't follow me. I'm a woman. Okay. So uh, then she says that all of a sudden Instagram, the gods of Instagram favored her and gave her more followers. So now she's at 9,992. So it is believable that she could reach eight more followers to get up to that. Okay. But are you kidding me? You literally did something and you're like, I need to create a lie to justify why I have gained so many followers. Guys, I have been covering Brooke. Did I say this in my video? I don't care. I have been covering Brooke for maybe a month. I mean, honestly, I think she went crazy in the red Puma sweater a month ago. It was not that long ago. That's when I started covering her. She had 6,000 followers. I don't know. Somebody tell me if it is normal for someone to jump up 4,000 followers in a month. Is that normal without doing anything crazy? Maybe it is normal. I don't know. Well, you love me or join me. Okay, whatever this stupid reel is. Then we have a nice... Ah! Oh my gosh, dogs. Then we have this lovely... Ah! Have you ever really wanted to join Lime Life, but you were already with another direct sales company and couldn't or had to leave because of the policy? What if I told you that our policies just changed and you can now do both? Oh, thank you, Ariana. That is so kind of you. Thank you. Um, can we just like briefly talk about that this is, I don't know, someone made a comment about like cross recruiting, but I'm just saying like, I don't under, maybe a limelight leader got offered a bridge and this was limelight's way to keep the team. Maybe I just, they don't have, according to 2020, they didn't have a lot of, they, they only like 7,000, some hundred, like 7,000, some hundred uh, beauty guides. So there weren't a lot. Oh, look at her. She's so, she's so, she's so, she's so let me turn this down because my daughter's going to bed. Like, I really can't. No, wait. Okay, everyone stop. Okay, let's just look. Oh, sorry. So she, listen, if I get 10,000 followers ever, I will certainly have a post that is something someone's like, oh my God, sure. But when you've made this entire big thing all day about, like this was a planned and executed manipulation. Like we can see what this is for exactly what this is, Okay could she gain that many followers here's a good question could she gain that many followers from being featured in videos people looking for lols and drama or content it is possible it is possible but i don't think that most of the people that watched our videos went and followed her per se it's super easy because instagram like keeps your history of searches to just go to the search and see the people you've searched click on who you want to look at and as long as they have a profile that's public, you can just, you don't have to follow them to see their content, right? So I don't know that I would believe that she, that, that anybody in the anti-MLM community is specifically following her, but not 4,000 people in a month. And definitely not from me, maybe from Julie Joe, but I also don't feel like Julie Joe's followers, which are like most of you, I would bet that most of you that follow me are also following Julie Joe. Um, like I would bet that they're not following her specifically, right? Like that makes no sense. So Charlene, yes, she has massively created a narrative of how she's been victimized. Victimized by not even watching the videos. Like I 100% believe she has not watched the videos at all. I really don't. Now let's look at this picture. This picture is like, I, this is this is stunning. I think this is stunning. Like, yes, it's clearly very posed. She was probably on a road trip and she was like, honey, pull over. This place looks vacant and take a picture of me looking beautiful. Great. But she's not wearing a ton of makeup. She looks natural, but then she has to ruin it. All things work together for good to them that love God and to them who are the called according to his purpose. But listen, I just, I can't with the faith manipulation. I think that there's going to be an episode coming up with on life after MLM um, that we're going to talk about this. I think oh, Jaina says, I think she watched the last video with Barb. Honestly, 
it, it's starting to seem like it. But like, even in that video, I'm not mean to her. Am I? Was I mean? <laughs> Ray Joseph, this place looks vacant. Yeah. Like, I just, I, I, hi, Sophie. Yes, alive. Alive. It's alive. I just, I don't, <laughs> I really hope that she watched it. I hope that she watched it. Yeah, I was not, Jana, see, I was not mean. She tries to deny watching it, but yet claims she knows what you said. Well, because like they don't need to watch it to know what I said, right? Like that's like the manipulation tactic that's so prominent in what we see. I don't need to know what they said. I know what they say. I know they're haters. I know that they're hating on me. I doubt, <laughs> Kelly has a good point. I doubt her cognitive dissonance would allow her to watch too much. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really true. I think B Banks is into herself enough that she'd watch any video about her and then claim to not have seen it so she can. <laughs> and you know what I said at the end of my video, I absolutely did. I forget who I talked to, but I was like, what video was it that I, it was another, it was a video where I really legitimately addressed Brooke, I think as myself, whatever. And I was like, can you send this to her? Like message her and just be like, have you seen this? Like you should check it out. I did ask one one person do that because I didn't want her to block me because she's already blocked me on my personal account. So I didn't want to like on my, on my, or not my personal account. She's blocked me on my don't want to hunt. So I didn't want her to block me on my personal account. So then I can't get this delicious content. Um, so I asked one person, I'm certain that that one person did not make multiple burner accounts to harass them. Like I just, I can't. She'll get the gist, just then get mad and make a video. And that's my favorite part is when she says, I'm not going to respond. I'm not going to react. Ma'am, you are reacting. Acting is reacting. My Lord. All right. Let's see what else was here. I don't think there was too much left. <laughs> Kicking off a two day event for all our clients. Nothing really. This is not anything great. All right. I have one more, I think, here. Remove that. Hey, now I'm bigger. I'm bigger in your screen. <laughs> All right. I'm so pretty. Guys, how am I so pretty? I don't, I don't even know. Oh, this, the, okay. You know, if you've been watching my videos, <laughs> you know that I am a sucker for a good before and after. We're back to Miss Sarah Hill. <laughs> Okay. Um, like I can't do a pop quiz because I don't want to like assume that anyone's ever listened to me say this, but like, what is my biggest puffy? If you watched my video where I was talking about a before and after with a local Monet Hun, someone that lives near here, and she was the uh, subject matter of the video, A Heartfelt Apology. She was very mad at the video where I called out the difference in color of her skin um, <laughs> thanks to that. I'm the brilliant girl in the whole school. Um, the, I, I was calling out how the color of her skin was clearly different. The lighting made her skin look different. I was calling all of that out. And then, and I like blurred her eyes out to like, you know, cause I'm not a jerk. Like she's not an SED. She's, she does post her stuff publicly, but she's not a public figure. Right. And I li live near her. I could bump into her like at Aldi. So I don't want that. Like I'm not really great with confrontation sometimes. So, <laughs> Okay. Someone please tell me about, <laughs> I'm like, come on, come on, Sarah Hill. Your skin color is completely different. Ready to try Monet skincare? Like, is, th your skin color is different. So you either put on foundation and then put your selfie light right? Thank you, Kelly. Put your selfie light to yellow to bring out the yellows. Right. It's either foundation or the sun. Yeah. Like the, okay. You know what? You're right. Mila, you are absolutely right. This is what it is. The one on the left is a ring light. And the one on the right is natural light. Cause you can see the reflection on her, on her neck, right? The color in your skin is different that you're, <sighs> I really can't. I'm like this one just slayed me. Absolutely knocked me on my ass where I was like, I don't understand how anybody, anyone at all. Then she shares this one with, of her sister. Hold on. I'm just going to let you look at my back screen. She says, this is her sister. Do, do, do. Why are you not dragging? Okay. 
Her sister has beautiful freckles in this one. Now, this one's a little bit harder to dissect, I would say, but her freckles went away. Like, they do look like different people almost. And I don't think that one looks worse or better. Like, you know what I mean? I think that this woman, it is the same woman, but this woman looks beautiful in both with the freckles and without the freckles. So like, did this skincare remove her freckles? And don't tell me those are like sunspots. Like, I'm just, I, again, I still think it's likely a lighting thing. When you put the hair down, the hair creates shadows on the face. And then when you put it up, like guys, that would be like me saying, look, this is my skin before my, my uh, hair care. And now look, now look how much better my face is. Oh, so much better. Like, come on. For fuck's sakes. Oh. Let me make sure that that's not my hubby. Okay. All right. So that is, I mean, listen, I probably have way more fails that I could pull up, but I, I can do some questions, I guess. If anybody has questions or wants to talk MLM, has comments about MLM or the anti-MLM community, I will pop them up. We'll talk for a little bit. But I guess me wanting to talk about myself or answer questions, maybe lose a viewer. Oh, no. Oh, man. So, yeah, that was um, right. Jaina said, no, this one looks the same, but women wearing makeup. Like, right. This reminded me of the terrible It Works Before and Afters where the rap removed a tattoo. Oh my God, I saw that one. Go back to that Jesse Lee tea time. I mean, drop a one in the chat if you want some Jesse Lee tea time because I don't know if anybody really wants that. But if you do, <laughs> drop a one in the chat. <laughs> so Origins of Me, the, the rap... Well, it didn't actually do what was she saying, but the before and after picture was literally two different people that the um, the person's tattoo was like, there was a tattoo and then there wasn't a tattoo, like out of nowhere. All right, let me, I guess I accidentally X'd out. So hold for technical entry is like one, 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 one. All right, go back to that JLT time. All right, let's just pick it up then. Right where we left off. Thank you, Andrea. There's, there's a bit of this going on. Yeah. Um, <coughs> catch up on, on Jesse Lee's Chronicles of the Week. And then we'll talk about business. Uh, I hustle for the pretty things. Okay. I hustle for the pretty things. The pretty men. All right. Not the pretty men. Like hot men. All right. Okay. I wonder how many men have been watching that are like so offended right now. Um, Probably none. Because <laughs> Dave is like, it's Sunday here and I can't do JL today. I just can't. Look, guys, I'm about to lose one of my super, super fans. Dave, um, I think that you're just going to have to forgive me. Um, and I hope that you stick around forever. And if you don't stick around right now, I will totally understand. But uh, I, the people have spoken and <laughs> and they want this horrendous shit show. Um, let's keep going. <laughs> oh, I'm not sorry about it. So I wonder if he's watching. He knows. I tell him all the time. I'm like... <laughs> Hey, moving along. You're living vicariously through me. If you have an idea, so I've wanted to parody this, right? But I don't want to talk about the exact thing because like that's that's not really anything. But I'm 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 having trouble finding out the thing that I'm gonna talk about. Okay. William, I'm sorry that it is already Sunday. You're all in the naughty corner. <laughs> Listen, Dave. I, nobody puts baby in the naughty corner. <laughs> Like every night at tea time, I try to like tone it down and then it like gets cranked up. I don't know what happens. I came on here all low it's probably cocaine. Let's be honest, it's likely just, cocaine. Just filthy with you. <sighs> anyway, you're still waiting for Lehigh swag. Yeah, we gotta get some swag up in here. 
I got, yeah, we got to get some cute swag though. Thank you, Andrea. I have to put some respect on the Lehigh for sure. <laughs> that is, he, he might be watching, honestly. He's definitely awake. Um, so bad actor toward men. What does that mean? Shame? Are you shaming me? Are you shaming me because I'm a sexual woman? Ah! Neglected my my sexuality. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. All right. What? <laughs> Guys, what? what's that? <laughs> Is that what she sounds like when she's being choked? <laughs> like, I can't. Oh my God. I can't. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yes, I like this comment. Rachel, um, the local radio show in Pittsburgh, uh, one of the local morning shows, when they talk about segs, uh, they call it playing Scrabble. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Like, if you don't have good either D or vagina in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she? Is that is that like the, the, the line, like D or vagina? <laughs> Christy, uh, we all need, and I'm like, yes, Traguna, ma'am, this is Wendy's, uh, <laughs> me too, me too, all right, let's, let's keep going, because I do not want to watch her for much longer, probably not your sales rep, you know, like, probably not the one for you, probably gonna offend you, <laughs> all right, let's keep going, um, what else, what else, He's in Tahoe. I can't just leave here and get choked tonight, okay? It doesn't work like that. I mean, you could leave there and go get choked tonight. I don't you know. People people be choking. <sighs> Are you saying get over myself? Shame, shame again. You know what? You're reminding me of Game of Thrones, like Cersei. You know, and Cersei's like, um, shame, 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 shame. Um, all right. This is not Game of Thrones, boo-boo, okay? Um, my packing orders, yes, I'm packing pure therapy of ketones. These are custom trials. So um, I'm going to be discussing this with my husband tomorrow morning. Yeah, girl, get it. Tell me when you want to spit in your mouth. Oh, it just, guys, I just can't. I can't. When she says that, I'm, I'm done, guys. I can't. Do you know where this is going, Kelly? Because it doesn't get better. Oh, that's your assignment. Everyone's assignment this evening is I want you to go to your partner and say, <laughs> no. I just want to see who's nasty. Put my mouth. Oh, God, gross. Can we just... Hold on. Can we... <laughs> Spit in my mouth. It's just... It's like, what? Why? Should I do a parody of this as Barb? Maybe that's what I should do. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> messaged me for business advice earlier today so michael needs to move on <laughs> well, he just needs to move on in his life okay clearly i'm not your coach dear okay i'm not your coach yeah that's what i want you to hold on please yes dear can you help me get goldfish you need goldfish yeah i need goldfish pause to get my son goldfish Okay. Um, you know what, Rachel? I, Rachel said I would also like some goldfish, please. Um, maybe I'll add it to the next level of memberships. I will send you goldfish. Ooh, no, Kelly. No, I'm not even going to read it out loud. Y'all can just. I do. I want you. Okay, I want you to. That is the, that, yes. Coach, let's go. That is just. <laughs> And then I just want to know, y'all can DM me like, I did it, I did it. I thought it was disgusting. It was the hottest thing ever. Okay? I mean, I'm just, he already does. Rebecca, girl, see, see, I knew it. It's 
Kelly, in order for me to accomplish that video, I'm going to need um, a producer and a little bit more equipment <laughs> because filming my puppy Barb in the Kitchen video um, was exhausting enough <laughs> just being one person. <laughs> but that's hysterical. That's a great idea. Ew, my people here. Amber, bet. Don't dare me, girl. You nasty. That's what I'm talking about. My husband would be so down. Oh my God, I'm literally saving marriages. This is like relationship counseling. I didn't Guys, what? She just said she is literally saving marriages. I I really can't. I really can't. I even know this. Can I update you on the penthouse as an immediate no? Tamika, you are my coach. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all so much. But today's my husband's birthday. Do I need to have a talk with him tonight? Please do. You say that to that man. I'm telling you what. You're going to get, oh my God, you're, you're going to be walking funny. You're walking side to side. But you got, mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Your husband will be so scared, but I will do it. No, he won't. He'll be like, what got into you? He'll be like, oh, it's that boss lady. He's going to be like, that. that's your coach. That's your coach. That's your life mentor. <laughs> nobody, no, no, Jesse. Nobody, sh no. Saving marriages. She is number one in the multiverse for saving marriages, guys. Number one. Sorry, I had like a pause in my brain. I'll check in with you tomorrow night. Y'all, if my husband don't spit in my mouth tonight, I'm leaving him. <laughs> Girl, how do you think I got sick? <laughs> Meanwhile, she was like, I was over kissing on them babies, kissing on them babies. Dave, go ahead and puke. You can, it is okay if you, this is a great question. Can we just like talk about this for one second? Real question here. If Bosley wasn't doing MLMs, what do you think she'd be good at? I think it would still be in some way deceiving people. I, I just think that some people will always fall into their normal that like or not their normal, but like the, their this is their path, whether it's MLMs or con artist, that's their path. What is happening? Play. <laughs> oh wait, I totally did do a video to this because. You guys, this is the point that I'm at with this month. I definitely did a reaction video to this because I spliced together. <laughs> Wait, what's it called? Because <laughs> now I'm just, guys, this is the point I'm at with my YouTube channel where I literally don't know. Uh, everybody needs to go watch this because this is going to be hysterical. Um, do we see this video right here? You know what? No, hold on. Mallory, focus. Focus, Mallory. Where is my videos? I'm like letting you just guys just watch all up through my channel. What do I call it? I know that I did react to this. I know I did. Where is it? I don't know. Ah. <sighs> I'm certain because I edited that together. Whatever. All right. Um, I think that we should watch. Okay, listen. I said this yesterday on Life After MLM. If you're not following Sonic Fights MLMs, uh, she's amazing. So let's give Dave a break from Jesse Lee. And let's watch Eve Lifestyle complaining about anti-MLMers for over three and a half minutes. And then you should go follow Sonic Fights MLMs. <coughs> this video just to talk about a very common uh, way of trolling people that is very popular amongst people who are anti-MLM. Oh, shit. <laughs> For those of you who do not, not know what anti-MLM means, it means people who are opposed to the industry of multi-level marketing, and they go around and they bully and harass people who are inside of the industry. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my God. Ew, yeah. Stop fucking lying. So I'm going to talk about a term called sea lioning. So if you didn't capture all of the quotes, um, he, uh, Sonic finds MLMs was showing all the times that Eve has bullied people 
Okay, like, and been really nasty. So the term sea lioning is a type of trolling and harassment that Guys. consists of pursuing people with persistent requests for evidence <laughs> and repeated questions <laughs> while maintaining a pretense of civility and sincerity. It takes on the form of incessant bad faith invitations to engage in a debate. Now, this is something that anti MLMers do extremely frequently. Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. And then you find out that they anti MLM. And by this time, you're like, who is this bitch? And now you guys are into like a back and forth thing. Duma, this is 100% the reason for my cover art. If you've not seen my cover art yet, I will show it to you in a moment. And the whole time they were sea lighting. So it basically originates from this comic strip where you can see that the sea lion, he's, uh, he, he starts off the conversation with, pardon me, um, I couldn't help but overhear blah, blah, blah. And then the sea lion, he's following the guy around, which is this, this is what they do as well. They follow you around all your social media pages, stalking you, harassing you, and demanding that you send them proof and back up facts of whatever you said, even though if you've been in the industry for eight to 10 years, you are the proof and you know what you're talking about because you actually lived it. And just because you can't Google my life or I haven't written a book does not mean that I am lying or don't have any proof because my journey does not need your validation. You're, you're so wrong in what you're saying. It's, it's, it's bordering on delusion. You can basically see by the end of the comic strip the sea lion has pressed all the guy's buttons to get him to go off on him. And then the sea lion. Okay, wait. I'm going to pause for a second because I just realized something and I don't want to make Sonic fights MLMs mad at me. Guys, please do me a favor since there's 87 of you beautiful people on here watching this movie right now. Go. It's, it's a, like a three minute video. <clears throat> when I'm getting off here, which I'm going to get off here really soon go subscribe to her and, and at least watch the video or give her the, the views because now I'm realizing I am taking 84 views from her and that is totally uh, not fair. So I'm not even going to finish it because I want you all to go watch it. But so I am going to wrap up here um, because I want to show you because she came out with this directly because of me. This is when the beautiful Emily Chrisser created my cover art. And this is me as a sea lion and I'm on a couch because Mary Scott called... <laughs> Mary Scott called Chelsea Suarez, uh, the couch people. And so Chelsea is queen of the couch people. So um, I said, can you put me on a couch as a sea lion? And Emily was like, yeah, absolutely. So this is my cover art. This is because like, this is what they don't understand. Is that every time they respond to us, we get way more ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the cover art is amazing. So real quick before I go, I will tell you. So the girl, the, the woman, the beautiful woman who um, made this, she created another Instagram that is specifically for her cover art. And now I can't remember exactly what she called it. And I'm trying to find it. Shoot. I will share it in my stories. So please also go follow that. Um, give her the follows that she needs because she creates, she's the one, if you've been seeing all of the graphics for Life After MLM, the show, she's the one that's been drawing all of us. And she like nails our, like, come on guys, nailing it. She nailed it. All right. So I'm going to go, go over to Sonic Fights MLMs right now, view her video, give her the views she deserves that I just stole from her. Please, please, please. And then subscribe to her too, because she deserves it because she is so smart and so funny. And then I will post in my stories, the new anti-MLM account that does anti-MLM artwork. And um, I'm just going to wrap it up for tonight so that I can go spend time with my hubby and I got to go put my son to bed. All right. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful night. Thank you for being here. Love you.